It's a question we all often ask. Why is it in a tornado one house is wiped out and another is left standing? Some insurance companies paid for a storm lab to figure out how you can make sure your home survives a storm. Take a look at this video. Two pre-built homes were rolled into a lab in South Carolina where extreme storm conditions were created by a massive wall of fans. The way one home was built protected it from those strong winds. And this morning, KBC 9's Brenda Washington is showing you what you can do to help make your home stronger. Brenda. Well, you know, if you're building a new home, that is a great time to make your home as strong as possible to withstand those tornadic winds. Now, Andy Homley is with us. He's with Homley Construction Company. He's going to show us what you can do as far as building strong walls. So, Andy, what is this? This is a structural insulated panel. It's called a SIPS panel, formed by laminating two sheets of OSB or plywood around a foam core. Uh, very strong. This would essentially form the exterior walls of your home and can withstand winds up to 150 miles an hour. Now, how does this differ from the way walls are normally built in a new home? Traditionally, you would have stud cavity uh, with just one layer of OSB on the outside, sheetrock on the inside, and then you would fill it with some kind of foam or bat insulation. Not very strong, not a lot of structural strength. What this does is gives you plywood or, or OSB on both sides of the wall, so you get twice the amount of wood structure that holds it very strong in the, in the sheer direction. It's also laminated to the foam insulation, and so that further strengthens the entire assembly. So very strong exterior walls. And also later this morning, I'm going to show you some more things you can do if you're building a home, and also we're going to be talking about building safe rooms in either a new home or existing home. Back to you from Midtown. And with so many large tornadoes breaking out recently, a lot of you are wondering what can you do to better protect your house? Some insurance companies paid for a storm lab to figure out how you can make sure that your house withstands a tornado. Take a look. Two pre-built homes were rolled into a lab in South Carolina where extreme storm conditions were created by a massive wall of fans. The way one home was built protected it from those strong winds. So what can you do to help make your home even stronger? Well, KBC 9's Brenda Washington is getting those answers for you this morning. Good morning, Brenda. Good morning. You know, earlier this morning we talked about what you can do if you have an existing home. Now we're talking about if you're building a brand new home. And these are two items that you want to think about installing to help make your home as tough and as strong as possible in case of tornado. We're back with Andy Homily with Homily Construction. These are trusses. How do these work? Yes, these are floor trusses on the first area here and then roof trusses. What makes them strong is that they work together as a unit. The bracing of the trusses is interlaced between all the way through the entire home and it acts as one unit. The roof structure is then tied down to the wall structure, which is tied down to the floor structure, then goes to the foundation. Can be rated up to 150 mile an hour winds as well. Now, I know that you build new homes. Uh, you were telling me that there was a home you built that actually had these installed and withstood a tornado back in 2004? It did. These were tested under uh, those conditions. In 2004 in May, a home in Platte City on 10 acres was hit directly, ripped all the shingles off, uh, cars and uh, trailers were tossed into the other yard, but the home stayed strong, held together, and the family was in the basement and safe as can be. Now, coming up uh, in a few minutes, we're going to talk about safe rooms that you can have in a new home or existing home. Guys, back to you. And when it comes to twisters, there is always this question, why is it some houses are destroyed and others are untouched? KBC 9's Brenda Washington is live this morning on how you can make your home safer. Brenda, good morning. Good morning. You know, we've been talking this morning about how to reinforce your home, whether it's existing or you're building a new home. But what about the family? What about you? What can you do to be safe inside of your home? That is where the safe rooms come into play. We're back with Andy Homley with Homley Construction. Andy, uh, very briefly, uh, explain how a safe room works, where should you put them, etc. Sure. These are reinforced concrete walls, ceiling, and eventually have a steel door mounted on the front. These rooms can withstand winds up to 250 miles an hour, so it can handle just about any uh, tornado situation. Typically, you'd see these in lower levels and basements into existing rooms. This one in particular is actually built into the inside of a slab home. It'll probably be the closet of a uh, future space. And depending on how large it is, this could cost you anywhere from about $3,000 to $5,000, and you will probably need a professional to install these. If you want more information about what we've been talking about this morning on making your home strong to help save it in case of tornado, go to our website, kbc.com, and click on As Seen on KNBC. Guys, back to you.